So welcome to a very hot, warm and sunny Scotland. Uh, something you don't get to say that often, but for the past few days it's been pretty good here. Um, unfortunately, since I came back from my holiday in Medina, I've actually been sick for a few days. Uh, not Covid, testing myself for that, but I had a pretty sore throat and a sore head as well. So uh, today, still not feeling 100%, but the weather's just so good that I couldn't just sit in the house. I had to get out. So on days like this, I really try and prioritise doing mineral rides and getting out into the wilderness. Uh, but because I'm not feeling too great, I wanted to do an easy one. So I've come back to one that I've done before, uh, Score Gooey or Score Goth, whichever way you say it. I think it's pronounced Score Gooey. Uh, this was one that I did the very first time I ever rode an e-bike uh, when I demoed at Wild FS about two years ago and then we ended up going on to buy my own. So I'm excited to come back and do this one because I know it's really good. Such a beautiful part of the world this. Okay. <laughs> right, so just gonna get down here because this yeah, I've seen this in other people's videos. This has just completely fallen away this part of the path and into that river by the looks of it. It's the power of Mother Nature. Brutal. I've just got to get my e-bike up that. <laughs> so we've come a fair bit up now. Uh, we've pretty much reached the top. That is it over there, that peak in the background. So we are not far away. Uh, we've just got to cycle along the this at the top and uh, we should be at the top and we'll get some decent views once we get to the top so looking forward to seeing them so you want to see a view guys how's that for a view Look at that. <laughs> that is uh, quite a special one, that. Well, as good as that view is, I'm uh, not hanging around for too long. I want to get down and catch the last of the sunlight so let's get on with it So as far as Monroe rides go, uh, I chose this one because it's actually fairly tame for a Monroe that is. But not by all means easy, but um, not uh, as difficult as Monroe rides usually are. So I just wanted to take it easy today and ride something a bit easier than normal, but at the same time I still want to get up in the hills. So. This was the obvious choice. Oh. Ah, 
I'm riding with the sun in my eyes here, unfortunately. Luckily, it's quite a fast sort of section. Lucky or unlucky. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. So tempted just to let the brakes off and go for it, but <laughs> that's when things go wrong. Little jumps and doubles everywhere down here <laughs> if you're brave enough. Because then you can just come into a section like this where there's a massive hole. <laughs> this is where it turns to super flowy trail. Quite nice. Clipping that, fucking hell, made a mess of that. <sighs> yeah, there's the trail changing yet again. It does change quite a few times, which uh, is quite cool about it. Just uh, let the brakes off here, you're safe enough. Let the e bike go as fast as it can go. Oh, ours were just slipping there. Went into the pedal catching rut. <laughs> We go, there we go. Just need to be careful about coming around corners too quick. Don't want to meet uh, any walkers coming down here. The worst thing you can do as a mountain biker is charge past them at full speed. And yet again, the trail has changed. <laughs> you get five different trails in one descent on this ride. It's pretty cool. Really fast too. <laughs> oh, now I'm going to it in here. Yeah. Give the Shimano's a good old pump. Get the pressure back where I want it. Good old Shimano's there. Eh? Bloody powerful and good, but the bite point is terrible. Just uh, pretty much a complete gamble where it's going to be. The other thing about this Monroe ride, there's not an awful lot of drainage ditches. There are some, but not as many as you usually have. Now this is kind of like, this kind of trail here is what you think of when you say Cairngorm. 
rock slab route a few rocks here and there yeah very nice In Balmania through there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there you go, I'm going to end this one here. I uh, still had a good ride even though I'm still feeling a little bit groggy and under the weather but um, that's what the e-bike's good for. I wouldn't have come out if I um, was on my normal bike because I probably wouldn't have managed it. So there you go e-bike haters. <laughs> um, score go score GUI or score GOTH, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Uh, still really good, uh, just as good as I remember it from a couple of years ago. It's definitely a good first one to go and hit um, because it's uh, a bit more tame. Come to think of it, it actually was my first one all right now, I actually think about it. Um, if you're of average sort of ability, it's pretty manageable, I would say. Um, quite flowy at the bottom, the worst of it's at the top where it's quite rocky, but it's not too bad. So, yeah, take that as you will. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this one guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.